The European Union has expressed its concern about food security in Nigeria in marking 10 million euros for an agricultural intervention project to support nutrition and resilience in Taraba states. Speaking at the flag of exercise in Jalingo, the ambassador of the European Union to Nigeria said the money allocated for the project was from taxpayers' funds across the European Union nations. Correspondent Wolabia Denusi's report is brought to you from our studio. The ever-increasing population and the violent crisis in many parts of Nigeria has raised concerns about the threat this may have on food security in the country. It has prompted this collaboration between the Taraba state government and the European Union, which is designed to empower small-scale farmers in rural communities across six local government areas of the state. The EU ambassador to Nigeria Mr. Ketu Carlson is represented at the flag of, of the scheme in Jalingo by the head, Nutrition and Resilience Section of the Union, Montserrat Patalioni. The intervention is expected to lead to the creation of more jobs that would ensure food security. I'm very happy to see that this program, uh, this program to support farmers, will probably uh, strengthen your capacities to produce more jobs and to produce more food. So I like this ProCell, it's called ProCell program, that it means productivity and selling. So we, we will target 3,000 farmers and the idea is that they produce enough, not only for their communities, but as well to activate business and to be able to sell uh, their products and their production in the market. Oxfam. One of the project sponsors puts 77 percent of Tarabans as living below poverty line, which is higher than the national average of 46 percent. It discloses that 300,000 persons from 30,000 farming households would be targeted, in which 50 percent must be women and 30 percent youths. With the support of EU, and the invitation of the uh, Taraba state government. We're trying to build the resilience of small-scale farmers, fishermen, and livestock owners, women, youth, and vulnerable households in commodity value chain. For his part, Governor Darius Ishaku expresses his government's commitment to ensuring success of the four-year project. Six salmon foundation seeds have been given to farmers under the six salmon value chain development program. Arrangements have also been concluded by the state government to establish two additional processing centers for six salmon seeds. The project will be implemented within a four-year period in Talcum, Zinc, Kuromi, Donga, Wukari, and add all local government areas that have experienced farmer-heather conflicts.